So you just announced recently 50 billion ARM processors shipped. Yes, so we are very excited and uh, we, we had a celebration at the Mobile World Congress 2014 this year. But in 2013, uh, ARM and its partnership, it's literally the partnership that has shipped over 50 billion chips containing ARM processors since 1993. So in 20 years, we've delivered 50 billion chips. That's like nearly 10 per person, nearly. Yes, it is certainly getting there and we expect the next uh, 50 to 100 billion will occur even faster. So here you, ha you have a graph. Yes, so uh, if you can actually uh, go to 50billionchips.com, you will actually have a lot more detail. There's a lot of interactive material. But uh, in, in the gist of it, we have seen since 1993 um, 50 billion chips total. And in 2013, we shipped over 10 billion chips in a single year. That's huge. So w which kind of chips are they kind of? So that's a very interesting question. And if you actually look a little further down, naturally ARM is known for mobile. And out of these uh, 50 billion chips, you see 58% have been shipped in the mobile world. And that this includes uh, the application processor, feature phone processors, modems, uh, controllers, etc. You have about 6% in the digital TV set-top box home. Sounds small as a number as 6%. However, if you actually multiply that with 50 <laughs> billion, it's a pretty large number. You look at embedded or enterprise applications. Uh, and enterprise for us is storage, uh, hard disk drives, printing, etc. And now it's soon growing into things like networking. And then, of course, the deeply embedded applications, which don't use big OSs. These are uh, controllers for uh, washing machines, uh, audio, etc. We have about 20% uh, of the unit chips in that. Now, the other thing I would say is if you look at this, 10 billion. Uh, chips shipped in, ten, uh, in uh, 2013. In the four days of the Mobile World Conference, there will be a hundred million ARM chips shipped just in those four days. That's huge. So yes. uh, every hour, kind of like a million or more or something, like huge. Oh, yeah. well, well more than a million, yes. So uh, it says 58% mobile. That means mobile is a pretty big deal for ARM, right? So. Actually, now that you say that, I mean, mobile's always been a big deal. We still, uh, it's still our focus. But if you consider that about two to three years ago, it was 70% mobile, and now it's 58% mobile. And that's not because mobile's going down. In fact, mobile volumes are increasing, but the other uh, volumes are catching up. And in fact, you bring up a, a very interesting point. In my pocket, I have a card. Yeah. If you look at it, the card's not important. Oh, like this this yeah. little black dot, in the card Sorry. is a full-featured uh, microcontroller. This was launched very recently, Sorry, about I need two to days ago. Like this, yeah. Okay. So there's an ARM processor right there. So it's not just the ARM processor. That's a full microcontroller. It's a 20-pin package, I think. So within that is a Cortex M0 Plus, which is an, which is our smallest microprocessor for microcontroller applications in there. And these are the types of devices that are burgeoning in the world of Internet of Things and wearables. My camera can't focus on it. So tiny, tiny. Yes. And it's like, uh, so maybe the 50 billion is nothing compared to a few years from now. That is absolutely true. And as, as you've located the notion of Internet of Things or the Internet of Everything, depending on who you talk to, we see these processors making a lot of current devices more intelligent. There are sensors all over the place. There are uh, other applications that can utilize something that can connect it back to the internet. And we are, if you look at wearable devices, you look at IoT devices today, they're predominantly based on ARM. Uh, these are uh, Cortex M class devices or Cortex A, depending on where you look at it. If you look at uh, the Pebble Watch, you look at all the kinds of hip wearables that you see, these are currently ARM based, and we expect that trend to actually grow. And each smartphone has four or five or something ARM processors? So let's start with just the main chip. If you look at an application processor chip by itself that has the main processors that run things like Android, but even within that you have uh, a lot of smaller ARM processors on the same chip that are doing smaller functions like uh, power control, I.O. management, so on and so forth, security. Uh, beyond that, there are other chips in the smartphone that will do modem, 
that will do uh, touch control, that will do uh, screen control, GPS. A lot of those have ARM processors too. So even within the chips, there's more than one ARM? Yes. So obviously you've heard of the octa-core designs. Those are all ARM chips on the same chip. So, uh, some uh, ARM processors on the same chip. But along with that, there are even on those chips, there, there's even more ARM processors around them. All right. So uh, it's a crazy world, kind of. And it's a, the, the Mobile World Congress is an ARM conference, right? Well, it's a much bigger conference than ARM, but we, we like to think that we fi figure in a lot of the discussions within the Mobile World Congress. And when you talk about uh, Big Little, for example, mm -hmm. and that Cortex-A, mm -hmm. how big of a chunk of the 50 billion is that kind of processor? So, if you look at the Cortex-A, that is uh, growing. I would say uh, we have shipped in the last few years about 2 billion Cortex-A uh, processors. And these are, again, in the high end of the uh, smartphone world. But what you see now is that the smartphone is actually taking over what was the low-cost or the feature phone world. And so you'll see that growing as well. The Cortex-A's are also going into consumer applications. And you'll see them a lot into uh, networking, server, and the larger applications. So certainly the volumes are growing up across the board. And uh, the 50 billion is a huge amount of partners. And they all, like, uh, it, m like many of them have a huge role in this. Absolutely. And this is... Uh, I, I kind of repeat, this is not about ARM, it's, it's as much about the ARM partnership because we don't actually sell chips, they do. We have over 350 licensees, we have over 1,000 licenses ship, or, or uh, serve. So if you look at what this is, it's a, a, a success story for the entire ARM partnership and the ecosystem that's been able to make all of this so successful.